Finding the ones complement of our binary number is straightforward. Consider the following example. This is the example here, and what I've done, I've just simply put a little two at the end just to remind us that we're dealing with a binary pattern here, a binary number. To find the ones complement, you simply look at the original number, which is the one you can see in front of you, and every time you see a one, you convert it to a zero, and every time you see a zero, you convert it to a one. So we start here at the least significant bit, and the one becomes a zero. The next one also becomes a zero. Going along, the one becomes a zero. Now we come to a zero, so that becomes a one. Then we have a one, so that becomes a zero. And then we can see we have three zeros, and all of these three zeros become a one, as we can see here. So we therefore can now see that this is the original number here. And what we've simply done, we've produced a ones complement by inverting everything. And in binary, of course, inverting means changing a one to a zero and a zero to a one, because there's only two figures in binary. Of course, in a microprocessor, we typically have registers. And here is an 8-bit register. And into that, I'm going to place a binary pattern. And the arithmetic and logic unit can find the ones complement by simply using not gates. And here you can see I'm applying the register contents to the input of not gates and then we're going to take the output to another register so we can see the zeros become ones and the ones become zeros just to remind you of the functionality of a not gate here's its symbol here if you put a zero at the input you get a one at the output if you put a one at the input you get a zero at the output and we have a and f representing the input and the output so we can see there is the truth table where this is a and that is f Let's have a look at another example. Here we can see I have an 8-bit binary number. And what we do, we simply take the 1, convert it to a 0, zeros to 1s, as you can see here. So the last three zeros become 1s. So we can see it is in fact very easy to find the 1s complement of a binary number. Of course, I've shown this for 8 bits, but it equally applies to 16 bits, to 32 bits, and so on. <laughs>